catch the tram car, please. Uh, the fingertips are on the inside of the lip. My thumb's on top. I'm going to curl my wrist, point my shoulders at the target, lean back, and snap through. So the most important one is the lift that the Frisbee generates. The Frisbee would just fall straight to the ground if it didn't generate any lift. You cannot spin it enough. You can make the angle too shallow, which will give it too little lift. You can make the angle too high, which will give it too much lift. A Frisbee is a lot like an airfoil. <laughs> And as the Frisbee moves through the air, there's air that gets pushed down underneath it. So as the Frisbee moves through the air, it has to push the air out of the way. Just like my feet have to push the water out of the way. The second one is stability. You want the Frisbee to keep going in the direction that you threw it. And just making sure no matter where I release it, if I release it high, middle, low, just lots of spin, lots of snap right at the end. Frisbee turns into a gyroscope when you put a spin on it. So gyroscopes don't like changing their direction. So much like riding a bicycle, if you ride the bicycle quickly, the wheels are spinning quickly and you don't fall down so easily. But if you don't spin it, it's like trying to track stand on your bicycle and it just will fall over.